pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Happy birthday to Thomas Possage, Preston Kerr, Aiden Clark, Jasmine Jones, Casey Bielan, Olivia Flores, Anthony Momin, and Owen Klein. Girls basketball fell to Steubenville, ending the Potters' four-game winning streak. Emma Ludwig led the team with nine points. Michaela Reed finished with five. Today, boys varsity wrestling is away at Ovex, and boys varsity basketball is away at Indian Creek. Tomorrow, boys varsity wrestling is away at Ovex. Co-ed varsity swimming is at Brook for Ovex. Co-ed varsity bowling is at Dover, and boys varsity basketball is away at St. Clairsville. We are Potter proud of the East Liverpool High School junior level construction class as they custom built 10 new 10 foot picnic tables for the Thompson Park. Great job. Second semester begins Tuesday, January 21st. If you need a copy of your schedule for the new semester, please stop by the guidance office to pick one up. Schedules are also available through Progress Book and Parent Access. Potter football off-season lifting will be on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at the Patterson Field weight room from 3.15 to 5 o'clock. Students without a ride will be transported to the weight room via their everyday bus. Please feel free to contact Coach Ludwig with questions. If you aren't participating in a winter sport, we expect to see you there so we can continue to build and be the best we can in 2020. Seniors. This is a reminder that your senior portrait due date is February 24th. You can find picture specifications on the back of your senior newsletters, the Senior Bulletin Board, the Yearbook's Facebook page, or see the link on the Student Announcement page. Seniors, the candy sale ends today. Please turn your money in ASAP. Attention NHS members, the candy sale starts on Tuesday, January 21st. Mrs. Kaiza will be in the main lobby to distribute from 7.30 to 7.50. Attention Fellowship of Christian Athletes. On January 18th at the First Free Methodist Church from noon to 2 p.m., come on by to hang out, eat food, play games and sports, and learn from Pastor Dave how to, how to live a life set apart, a life that stands out so you can be more confident in your faith and who you are. Be safe and enjoy your long weekend. Take time to reflect on the meaning of Martin Luther King Day. Treat each other with respect and allow a person's character to be their only defining characteristic. Thank you and have a wonderful day. All right, thank you, Brandon. I'm Lance, and today I'm joined by Dallas. How you doing today, Dallas? Good. All right. So we're going to start things off with today's weather, which it is currently 25 degrees outside. It won't be getting much warmer. It's only supposed to get up to 33 or around there. So, yeah, it's not going to be too warm, but that's okay. It's still Friday. Woo. So... It's currently the low for the day of 25. It'll slowly be rising up to 32 around 4 p.m. And it'll drop back down to high 20s or low 30s for the rest of the day. And then for tomorrow, there is a low of 22, but a high of 45. So tomorrow is definitely going to be a lot nicer than today. Even though it is supposed to rain. Well, that's okay. I mean, it's not that bad. And now for the daily announcements. First of all, happy birthday to Thomas Possage, Preston Kerr, Aiden Clark, Jasmine Jones, 
Casey Bellin, Olivia Flores, and I think it says Anthony Momin, and Owen Klein. So the so the sports results from last night's game, the girls basketball team fell to Steubenville, ending the Potters' four-game winning streak. Emma Ludwig led the team with nine points. Michaela Reed finished with five. And uh, the sports schedule for the rest of the week. Today we have a to-be-announced time for the boys' varsity wrestling away at the OVAC's West Banco. At 6 p.m. we have the boys' varsity basketball away against Indian Creek High School. Tomorrow we have a continuation of the boys' varsity wrestling OVACs. But we also have to be announced time for the co ed varsity swimming away. Sorry, I can't stop yawning. Away against Brook High School in the OVACs at Brook High. At Brook High School. And then we have at 9 a.m. the co ed varsity bowling away against. Dover High School, and it is the eight-team tournament at Wabash Lanes. And then at 4 p.m., we have the boys' varsity basketball away against St. Clairsville High School. So, there we go. So that's all the sports for the rest of this week. We'll get the results for all of these things probably on Monday to let to, to let all of you know what. Actually, there up. is no school Monday. Oh yeah, Tuesday. We have no school Monday. Yeah, it's uh, Martin Luther King Day on Monday. We get a free day. Woo. So that's going to be nice. Um, good job to the construction class here the junior class in construction as they custom built 10 new 10 foot picnic tables for Thompson Park which is a really nice thing to do for for a bunch of people they won't really get used until spring or summer but that's okay It'll just make it, if they put them out there now, it'll make them look weathered. <laughs> it's alright. But, um, second semester starts Tuesday, January 21st. If you need a copy of the second semester schedule, you can stop by the, gu the guidance office to pick one up, or they are also available through Progress Book and Parent Access. Uh, for the seniors, this is a reminder that the senior portrait due date is February 24th. The picture spec specifications can be found on the back of the senior newsletters, the senior bulletin board, the year's Facebook page, or once again, if you can get to the student announcement page, there is a link that you can click that will take you to the specifications. Also, for the seniors, the candy sale ends today. Please turn in your money as soon as possible. And all right, that's everything that they have listed on here. It's weird because on the daily announcement page, it tells you. It only tells you some of the stuff. Brandon, the guy who does, who does the announcements in the office that we start out with every day. Um, he reads anywhere from one to seven or eight things that aren't listed on the online daily announcement page. So we can't really share everything. 
Like, I don't remember any of the extra things he said. So, whatever he said, okay. Hopefully he, ca- hopefully he caught it when while we, while we were recording his voice. But, um, uh, Dallas, you haven't been talking too much. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. Um, is there anything you want to talk about? Okay, this is a random who would win fight, but okay. SpongeBob versus Bugs Bunny. <laughs> okay then. Hmm. Is it is it gonna be like SpongeBob when Flats punches him in the face and it just and his face just stretches? Is that is that what's gonna happen whenever Bugs Bunny is gonna try to get him? Yeah, probably. If you think about it, the tip of a carrot, though, ain't his teeth. For Bugs. Because Bugs Bunny, his teeth are just like, (sighs) getting them. And then he can just stab him with a carrot. Or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just the one I'm coming for. But, um, I mean, probably Spongebob, if he can flex around the punches. Okay, then. Alright, so... Yeah, I'd, I'd have to say probably Spongebob. Because he could just be like, Oh, you're gonna punch me? Bend. And... He, yeah, because, once again, like in the episode where, he, where Flats was like, I'm gonna punch you. And when he went to punch him, his face kind of caved in. But he was perfectly fine. If it was Elmer Fudd versus him, though. Elmer Fudd, who uses a rifle or a shotgun, could just be like, because either way, that's going to hurt him. (laughs) But it's okay. Hmm. Do you have another one? This is another random one. Captain Crunch versus Tony the Tiger. Think it this way, Tony is a tiger. Tigers can kill a person pretty easily. Yeah, you know, it, it it's it's like having like how heavy are they? Like they're around a thousand pounds of muscle. So imagine so imagine one of those things jumping on you. Not gonna get it off that easy. So probably Tony. Also, Tony seems extremely buff, so he probably has a little more weight because muscle is heavier than fat, and he would probably be a lot stronger. Um, who did you think would win? Yeah, probably Tony. <laughs> Yeah, you want to try to do one more before we wrap things up? I'm afraid that'll be it. Hmm. Alright, but that's okay. And we've been recording for about 15 minutes. We've been told yesterday 
that that we need to start cutting down on our morning show time a little bit. We have to keep it around 15 minutes. So, but, but that's all right. It, it's just it's just like three or four minutes less. But we'll still be coming every day that we're at school. So, anything you'd like to say before we wrap things up? Well, just have a good day, everyone. All right, this has been Lance with Dallas from PNN. Everyone have a great day.